students i am mrs kujal kilani from holiyas education academy raipur today i will explain addition subtraction multiplication and division of decimal numbers here we are going to start addition of decimal numbers see the example we are going to add 12.05 72.6 and 2.73 so what we will do first first we will write the numbers properly 12.05 is the first number second number 72.6 so below the decimal write the decimal properly again here is also decimal write the decimal below the decimal now 12.05 05 is the first number second number 72.6 now if you see six number it is on the 10th place so on the below the 10th digit you will write the number 6 don't write here nothing you write here Now 2.73, it will be 2.73. If you see number two, it is on the ones place. So on the ones place, you will write number two. So in place of missing number, if you want, you can put zeros also. You can write here zero. You can write here zero. Now just add five plus three, eight. Seven, six plus seven, thirteen. Carry one. Three plus two, five. Five plus two, seven. And one plus seven, eight. So our answer is eighty-seven point three eight. So this is the addition of decimal numbers. Now next subtraction of decimal numbers. Subtract example. Subtract three hundred fifty-nine point seven seven eight from four hundred sixty-six point nine. You can see from these two, this number is the greater number. That means after from the number, you will write the first. Four sixty-six point nine is the for greater number. From the greater number, you will subtract the smaller one. Three fifty-nine point seven seven eight. Write the decimal below decimal. Now, if you see, there is no number on these on these two places. So, if you want, you can write here zero and zero. Now, just subtract. We can't. We cannot subtract eight from zero. So, just borrow one from here. It will become eight. It will become nine, and it will become ten. Ten minus eight. That is two. Nine minus seven. That is two. Eight minus seven. That is one. Now, again, we cannot subtract six. Nine from six. So, again, borrow one from here. It will become five. Sixteen minus nine, that is seven. Five minus five, zero, and four minus three, one. So our answer is hundred and seven point one two two. So write the numbers carefully and find the answer. Multiplication of decimal numbers. For example, one point eight into one point two. Here two numbers are there. Now what we will do first? Just multiply the numbers without decimal. That means eighteen into twelve. If you multiply eighteen into twelve, the answer is two hundred sixteen. Now what you will do? Just count the number after decimal in the question. After decimal one number. Again after decimal one number. Total number are two. So what you will do in the answer? Leave two number from the last. That means before one two. So here you will put the decimal. Here you will put the before two number. You will put the decimal. So answer one point eight. Into 1.2 will become 2.16 because after this one one number and one number total number two leave two number from the last the answer is 2.16. Example number two you can see 2.3 into 4.35. First multiply the numbers without decimal. 23 into 435. Your answer is 1005. Now just count the number after decimal one and here two total three numbers are there one two three. So leave three number from the last. One, two, three, and here you will put the decimal. So the answer is ten point zero zero five. So finally, two point three into four point three five is equal ten point zero zero five. So this is the multiplication of decimal numbers. Now finally, now here one important point I want to tell you: when a decimal number is multiplied by ten or hundred or thousand, then the digit in the product, the then the digit in the product are same as in the decimal number. But the decimal point in the product is shifted to the right by as many of places as there are zeros over one. For example, you can see 0.3 into 10. In 10, only one zero is there, so the decimal is shifted to the right side, one number. So the number will become the decimal will be shifted to here, so it will become three point. That means 3.0. We can write 3.0 means three. Not 1.2. Second example, 1.2 into 100. In 100, there are two numbers, so the decimal will shift two places to the right. One number already we are having, one more number we want, so we can write here zero. It will become 120 point. So that means 120 point zero. That is equal to 120. Now third number, 56.3 into 1000. So in 1000 there are three zeros, so decimal will shift to three number to the right. One number already we are having. Two numbers are missing, so we'll write after three two extra zero and put the decimal. So this will become five six three zero zero point zero. We can write finally five six three zero zero. At last, I'm going to tell you division of decimal numbers. For example, fifteen point five divided by five. So 
first what you will do 15.5 first number remove the decimal of this number after decimal one number is there so i can write here 10 because only one number so one zero divided by five now division you have to convert in the terms of multiplication when whenever we are going to convert division in the terms of multiplication we will write the reciprocal of second fraction always five means actually it is five upon one will become one upon five the reciprocal of five upon one will become one upon five now multiplication means cancellation you can cancel five one the five and here 31 times so this will become 31 1 the 31 upon 10 now only one zero is there before one number will put the decimal answer is 3.1 so this is the division of decimal number so again one for division one important point when a decimal number is divided by 10 100 or 1000 the digits to the number to the of the number and quotient are same but the decimal point is in the quotient shifted to the right left side left side as many places as there are zeros over 1. For example, 234, 235.4 divided by 10. If 1 zero is there, so what you will do now decimal is shifted to the left side. So this will become 23.54. One number it will jump to the left side of 5. Now 235.4 divided by 100. As two zeros are there, so just shift the decimal two places to the left. So this will become 1, 2, 2.354. Now, if you divide 234, 235.4 by 1000, as there are three zeros, the decimal will jump three numbers to the left. So, 1, 2, 3. So, this will become 0.2354. Here, division of decimal is over. So, students, solve these practice questions in your practice copy. So, here I have completed unit number 2, fractions and decimals. Thank you.